Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a review over our current spelling curriculum, which is Spelling Power. So pull up a cup of coffee, I know I got mine, and let's chat curriculum. So, getting right into it. Spelling was something that has been a struggle for me. Um, one, I learned the hard way. I started my kids, my oldest off, way too soon with spelling, like with spelling you see. Um, and I will do a review over that if you guys want to see it. But I just felt like I started too soon. And so it's kind of been like grinding of the gears. And then now that I have multiple students that are in and needing spelling, I feel like I just could not find a curriculum that like went with both. Some needed more hands-on, some needed just more, just give me the list traditional. And the way that my brain worked, I was like, give me a list. I need those words. You know, like I'm just so type A. So when I came across this curriculum, Spelling Power, I was like, what is this? I need it in my life. Spelling Power is for kids ages eight to adult. Um, my seven-year-old has been doing this this year and been completely fine. Um, and my kindergartner, I probably will not start on this until I would say the end of first grade into second grade. I believe this is about second grade level. Um, and how I'm using it is different than how... Um, they kind of want you to do it. There is quick start steps in the beginning, uh, but pretty much what you do, there's placement tests and you have your kid do the placement test. Um, let me see if I can get to it. The placement test. And then once they get, I think, I think it's like five in a row wrong. Um, you stop there and that's where you're going to start. So my kids, they were younger, so they started towards the beginning. And how I do this is on Monday, I will, wherever they're at, there's different like um, groups of words. So wherever they're at, I will give them 10 spelling words for that week on Monday. I'm a strong believer in dictation and just writing things out. So they have to write them out the first day three times each, saying them aloud um, every time that they spell it. The rest of the week, Tuesday through Thursday, they can do activities. Now, I did get the activity cards, and I also have, um, not with me, but the disc that I downloaded on my computer. I will say the CD system is outdated, so once I downloaded it and kind of seen how it worked, I was like, this is just, it was really 90s, old style, um computer, you know, I just wasn't going to keep my kids attention. So, uh, we don't use the computer program. However, um, I do use the activity cards. The activity cards are broken up into drill activity, skill builders, writing prompts, dictionary skills, and homonyms and more. Um, what I do with this is I give my kids options. So Tuesday through Thursday, they either can continue with dictation the rest of the week. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they're like, I don't even want to do anything. I just want to write them out and get it done. Um, and that works well. Their testing um, grades reflect that working well. But if they're just like, I really don't feel like writing today, uh, they can get drill cards out and see uh, something else to do. They can build it. They Some type of activity to make it hands-on for my kids that do want a hands-on component. So switching from all about spelling, which I can do a review over that uh, for you guys if you want to see it. I did love that curriculum. I just wasn't a good fit for all of my family. And uh, it just was really time consuming for me being a mom of multiples. So this curriculum, I highly recommend if you're just looking for something easy, something that's a one-time purchase, this is going to be carry them from now all the way through high school. The word list gets a uh, very long, where's the word list? Oh, I can show you, um, like towards the end. Let's see. Some of like the last test. I <laughs> mean, are some pretty long and what I do like about this they always have review tests so you'll do so many groups and then there'll be a review test um and it will take you know like one word out of all of those groups and um I really do enjoy it and I've created cur uh curriculum I've created spelling test sheets on my teachers pay teachers I will link that below uh, if you guys want to pick up those test sheets um I just do it in groups of 10 and so um it makes it easy I just have all those printed out already so yeah um some of I guess these are all like review okay the last group I mean hypocrisy 
symmetry, gymnasium. I mean, um, there's so many positive height, genius against pleasant. I think this is a review circumference correspondence. I mean, some really long words. So, um, the list does get harder, but it starts out very easy. The first one, like Anne, Anne, as back had man, like very, very easy. Um, so we're just working our way through it. And, um, every week my kids get a new list. Um, and I just keep them on the board so they can see them through the whole week. And then right before test time that morning, I erase them and they take their test sometime that day. And I just say them aloud. And if they need an example, they can ask for an example. Um, and then I grade it. So anyways, I thought you guys had to see something that was kind of like a, uh, easy, easy option for spelling in your homeschool. And it's just not a lot of work. Like literally I don't have to prep anything. So this and some paper. So hopefully you guys found this uh, useful. If you have any questions about it, you want to see more of a flip through of the inside, comment down below, please like subscribe and come back for more reviews.